the Stop the Sweeps crowd in Seattle, which again is a fringe activist group that is opposed to basically any sweep of homeless encampment, has taken things to a new low. Let's discuss it in our segment, Unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, we've been tracking developments on a massive homeless encampment fire that happened in a green belt that is between I-5 and Harborview Medical Center in downtown Seattle. And this thing was just a freaking inferno. Um, and thankfully, no one was killed, but it could have had you know, disastrous consequences, not only for the people who were in the camp, but for the nearby hospital, for I-5, etc. So the fire happened, and pretty soon there were rumors that this was an intentional fire, and that it might have been started in relation to an ongoing drug turf war uh, that was confirmed by multiple outlets, including our friend Jonathan Cho and Como News, who said that it was uh, retaliation, that they suspected that the arson was caused by retaliation at this uh, now former homeless encampment. Because after the fire happened, after it became clear that these were like homemade IEDs set off to intentionally cause fire to this area because somebody had a drug beef, thank God that's apparently what led to the final straw for the city of Seattle telling WashDOT, because it's on state property, hey, we're going in, we're going to clear this thing. It's obviously an imminent public safety threat, which is obvious, right? So I couldn't help but notice, because I follow the group Stop the Sweep Seattle on Instagram, because apparently I'm just a glutton for punishment. Uh, they sent out this, and they often, so basically what they use their um, social media accounts for is one to raise money for the difficult work they're doing of trying to stop sweeps across the city. I mean, people call me a grift. That's a grift. Uh, but they also will uh, post the location of sweeps that are happening so activists can show up and protest or try to stop the, the sweeps from happening. So they posted, I kid you not, unbelievable, a picture of this burnt up former homeless encampment on the side of the interstate. And they wrote this, brace yourselves. After being devastated by a fire, this camp was given 12 hours notice before being swept. The tree line camp has existed since 2020 and was considered a stable, safe place to move, especially after being swept from city land. WashDOT, Seattle Parks and Rec workers, SPD, and a private contractor conducted this sweep over two days. And they go on in their post to talk about how they, they don't agree with it how they don't think that sweeps like this should happen. The fact that they put in here that this was considered a stable, safe place to move is unhinged. It, it, was, it was set fire by an improvised explosive device because of a drug turf war. And those are the kinds of places that you think homeless individuals, vulnerable individuals should be allowed to stay? Those are the kinds of places that you don't think that police in the city should come in and move people out of. I would simply ask, what is wrong with you? Are you that ideologically driven that you cannot look at at least this one example, at least this one instance and say, yeah, maybe people shouldn't be living there in tents? Because what you claim to care about are the people living on the streets. You claim to be the ones that are compassionate, that care, about improving their circumstances. Yet, you want to keep them in an encampment that has been a problem for some time and where there's a drug turf war that has escalated to the point of arson. Explain to me how that's compassionate. Explain to me how that's showing care and concern for the people living there. No, what's really going on here, and it ties back to the last story we discussed on rent control, these activists want to keep people living in encampments. These people want there to be as much visible homelessness as possible. Why? Because that makes it more likely that politicians who can be easily convinced by an activist mob will support policies like rent control. You have to vote for this policy. Look at how many homeless people are living in our community. Look at how many homeless people are living along I-5. If you don't support rent control, then you're a terrible person beholden to the rich. This is all part of the same grift of these activists who say they care so much about the homeless that they want to leave them in an encampment where they might be burned alive if it means that that could convince the city to pass the sort of far-left policies that they believe in. It is simply freaking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs>